Anthony Joshua. Are you ready? From Madison Square Garden. York, USA. Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing in association with TGB Promotions and AJ Boxing present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Streamed live on DAZN. 68 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one. 32 victories. 21 wins by knockout. He has only one defeat, and that was a split decision loss from Imperial, California, and fighting for his Mexican heritage, Edelos Toros Mexicanos, the former undefeated NABF heavyweight champion, the challenger, Andy Destroyer Ruiz Jr. Bracken. Wearing white with black, standing six feet six and weighing in officially at 247.8 pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, he now has a perfect professional record. Two victories, 21 wins by knockout. From London, England, the heavyweight fighting pride of the United Kingdom, the reigning, defending, undefeated. Heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. This is what Andy Ruiz Jr. could you barely won't dream my about. Instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands. I want you to protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. Andy Ruiz. Joshua outpointed Parker in March of 2018. Ending in the ring, by the way. Joshua Cerny's at his size as his arms resting on the top rope. Not many can do that. He can. Here we go. But they're trying to stay loose. And here we go. Round number one. Heavyweight championship of the world. Parker, enormous with a huge size advantage. Ruiz Jr., yes, we know, is not the body beautiful, but he has good boxing ability as he fires out a double jab, long jab from Joshua. Joshua missing with the hook. Would like to do something emphatic here, Sergio, but he also has to box and find his rhythm. No, he has to be careful because what Ruiz does really well is he punches back sharply every time you miss a punch. And how Andy Ruiz was successful against Alexander Dimitrenko was that he was able to walk him down. Will he be able to walk Joshua down when the punches coming back are that much more significant? You see Joshua able to touch Ruiz at will, fires off a right hand. He's able to throw that jab to the body or the head. That's exactly what I meant. That's what Ruiz does well. He counters. He has fast hands. For a big guy, he has really fast counters. Ruiz has good ability to go to the body. The question is, can he get inside against this longer, taller man? He can get inside, but he doesn't want to give up that chopping right hand. He is the shorter fighter, and Joshua pun punching down can't hurt him. Joshua is very versatile. He can hurt you with any punch, either hand. Has the ability to box. We saw in his last fight against Alexander Povetkin. He's able to come back from adversity as well. Right here we see the shorter Pudgier man backing up the big heavyweight champion. Ruiz with his defense tight, hands are up. Good jabbing skills, comes in defensively responsible and able to move in behind his jab. If you go back to the Prevecan fight, Brian, Prevecan had a little success in those early rounds against Joshua, connecting with some pretty significant shots. Oh, Pre Prevecan brought the heat, no question, at Wembley in front of 80,000 plus. I wonder, Sergio, I, I think the challenge here, and it seems to be being met by Ruiz is just to be able to breathe in round one and be able to box and make this normal because this is not normal for anyone to come in here against this man at this place. See what he just did right there. Look, Ruiz can't counter. He's a sneaky counter puncher. He's a, he's a quiet puncher. And that's why Joshua's a little leery right now. 
Joshua with the jab that landed tries and fires a hook that missed Joshua is able to land that jab if not at will on a regular basis and the thing about reason like Pavekin they made a career beating bigger men so he knows how to punch up at the right time you know, you called him the Mexican Rocky. This is certainly Apollo Creed. I mean, look at Anthony Joshua. It's ridiculous, the condition that he's in. Final seconds now of round one. That's a hard jab by Joshua, but a decent round one for the challenger, Andy Ruiz. Able to stay in. Maddox, it's our pleasure to be here with you at Madison Square Garden. Uh, Robert McCracken, Tom in the corner, Sergio. And trying to get his man to box as Frank, Ruiz Frank, comes out marches, firing and looking to Watch fight. That was oh, a good right hand, Randy Fuck. Ruiz. Ruiz timed him with a right hand, but no, as, as he should be a little concerned because he's walking the bigger man down. He says he wants to keep him at bay, keep him long, and faint first because Ruiz is an excellent counterpuncher. Ruiz has some wins over solid contenders, although some came at the back end of those contenders' careers. He beat Sergei Lyapovich in 2014, Ray Austin in 2016, and then later Kevin Johnson. But you can see the amateur pedigree. He has over 100 amateur wins. And Ruiz again comes in 32-1, and 21 knockouts. So a credible opponent. And maybe some people out there were telling me, Chris Maddox, hey, you know what? He could give a better account of himself than Jarrell Miller, even though he's filling in for Miller after he failed his drug test. Yeah, I think Andy Ruiz is a more impactful puncher. That's why when Anthony Joshua was going through his training camp, he brought in amateurs because, hey, he thinks they throw more impactful punches. And while Jarrell Miller is the busier fighter, Andy Ruiz has a little more pop behind what he throws. Ruiz able to calmly move forward measure that jab when it, when it comes to fast counter punches and, and boxes with fast hands it's good to not throw a power or a hard jab the first time around you want to flip that jab you want to use speed jab get the other fighters to try to counter you wonder at what point that joshua is able to get into the pocket and maybe goes on the attack he has not done that as of yet we're only in round two but ruiz certainly is able to get fairly comfortable if not calm in the ring and that's some achievement you know the big fights just suck the energy out of you Sergio a challenger can come in and in a, whether it's a, your first mega fight or your first championship fight and this is a big stage right hand from Joshua that can really train a man and a hook lands as well by the champ yeah this is a big stage for Andy Reason. sometimes you're not worried about what Andy Reese could do it's what Madison Square Garden where legends have fought can do to Reese. and Chris I think too you know that Joshua, on his mind, Deontay Wilder had an emphatic win over Dominic Brazil. He's already beaten Brazil, but he can't go in there and think, hey, I've got to knock someone out just like that. Yeah, but he's thinking that to a degree. He saw the, uh, uh, the, the Wilder win, and he said he wanted to have a big performance tonight. But you got to be careful when a guy can crack in the way that Ruiz can. Final seconds of round two. The better punches in this round seemingly coming from Anthony Joshua, but again, Ruiz is in this fight in this boxing contest. <laughs> Round number three, Manny Robles also telling Andy Ruiz Jr. that you see what happened after you double up on the jab. During the exchanges, Ruiz showed that he could be a dangerous man as well. Anyone with fast hands in boxing can be dangerous. Anthony Joshua, heavyweight champion of the world, coming in here to Madison Square Garden. Wanting to showcase his skills. He is doing that so far, but getting a bit of a test here early from Andy Ruiz. Ruiz in the white and gold trunks. Joshua in the white with black trim. See the punches, at least the jabs through two rounds, nine to three. Ruiz mixes it up. Good overcut and a hook. Puts Ruiz down. Wow, that was fast from Joshua. Five, six. More than two minutes to go in this round. Anthony Joshua is a composed and ferocious finisher. Watch this. 21 knockouts in 21 wins for Anthony Joshua. The champ with the right hand. Ruiz is staggered and an uppercut. Trying to hold on. Strafing right. Ruiz comes to fire back. And Joshua's hurt. Oh, Joshua goes down. Andy Ruiz caught him with a sharp left hook. Joshua's hurt. Six. Seven. He is clear-eyed, looking into the eyes of Michael Griffin. 
But what an answer by Ruiz. Stunning. Joshua on unsteady legs. Both men with knockdowns in this third round. The crowd is stunned. And I don't think Andy, Anthony Joshua thought Andy Ruiz would be able to stand up to that assault. Sergio, how often do you see after you have a knockdown, you figure, all right, let me finish this guy off, and then you're the one in danger. Both men down, but I think Joshua took the worst of it. Joshua has climbed off the canvas before. Gets Vladimir Klitschko. He was hurt here, and Ruiz with a stiff right hand as well. Tremendous answer, just when you think the coronation is complete. Joshua in trouble. He is still on shaky legs, Brian. And there is 40-plus seconds left in this round. These are the, mo the most important 40 seconds of Andy Ruiz's career. He has a hurt champion in front of him. Joshua now on the ropes. Not moving away. Body shots and uppercuts is what Ruiz should be looking for. Could be measuring him for a counter right, standing in one spot. Now tapping to the body. Fascinating round three. Both men are wary, but Sergio, you thought this was a big chance, and now here comes Ruiz. And Joshua hurt the corner. Joshua is hurt. He's staggered, and he goes down again. That's a knockdown. Joshua's been down twice. Five. Griffin Walk getting to, to eight. Walk to me. All right. Can he step to Michael Griffin? Fox. Griffin asked him to walk to me, and he didn't. 